Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Vivaldi rolled out version 7.2 of its desktop browser, which was focusing on speed enhancements um, and other performance-related um, improvements in the browser. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen. And just to let you know that earlier today, Vivaldi has now rolled out version 7.3, which is quite a major release because it features a brand new VPN. With Vivaldi saying that there is a partnership now with Proton and Proton VPN is now integrated into Vivaldi's desktop browser. They say to offer you enhanced privacy protections and all the VPN functionality that you would need without requiring any additional downloads or updates. So this is quite a big update for want of a better word and the update brings nothing else to the table and um, we had version 7.2 rollout just a couple of days ago so with this version upgrade to 7.3 all you're getting is this brand new vpn so if you are using the browser this might be a step in the right direction so just to go through the new vpn and just do a quick breakdown and run through of um, what is happening now first of all all you must do is just make sure that your browser is up to date to the latest version and build and if you are running windows you can just follow that process to automatically update so if we head back to our about page and um, just to give you that version and build upgrade so it's now 7.3.3635.2 and that's the version and build you need to be on to include the vpn and the chromium platform obviously is um, remains unchanged now to get it enabled just make sure your browser is up to date that's the first point of call and what you'll notice um, after you've updated to version 7.3 when you restart your browser you'll see this little vpn icon in the uh, toolbar to the top right and when you first click on that it'll say initializing and that can take a good couple of seconds to initialize and then what you will have to do is you'll have to um, sign in to Proton VPN using your Vivaldi account and password. So your username and password. And then you'll also be required to let Proton access some of your Vivaldi account details. So obviously if that's something you don't want to do, you don't have to use the VPN. So it's an optional feature, which I think is great. And as you can see, once you've signed in and all that's set up, you will be greeted with this screen and you can connect, which it says auto-selected from different uh, countries, or you can choose a regional country that you'd like it to connect to, but just take note, that's a paid feature. So for the free version, which is the default, it'll auto-select from a group of uh, different regions. So you click on that, and there we go. And there it's uh, selected the Netherlands, and that's my VPN set up. Now, something else to take note of is if we just click on the little features here, VPN features, now Secure Core, extra protection from for people with advanced privacy needs. It's a paid service, so you don't get that with free. You'll have to sign up to Proton as a subscription if you want that. And then if we head to the next, Auto Connect, you can toggle that on or off. It's on by default. The same with Split Tunneling. It's a paid feature. And WebRTC Leak Protection, that's on by default and notifications that's also on by default now if we click on this toggle and um, if you want to see your different details you can see i'm using the free version which is the default version and if you want to manage a subscription and sign up you can click on that manage subscription toggle and as you can see that'll take you over to select a plan if you want some of those extra features as mentioned uh, in the vpn and from the VPN and yeah you can see you can share anonymous usage statistics or usage crash reports I like to toggle both of those off just for privacy for for whatever reason and just to go through a couple of the frequently asked questions if you have a couple of questions um, related to this and the first is from the actual release notes how does Proton VPN for Vivaldi work uh, Proton VPN, they say, protects your online privacy by hiding your real IP address. Okay. Then, how do I install a Proton VPN for Vivaldi? 
as mentioned, it's ready to go out the box, so to speak. All you need to do is sign in, and I've already explained that. Is Proton VPN for Vivaldi free? Yes, Vivaldi says Proton VPN for, for Vivaldi is free with no ads, no data limits, and a strict no logs policy. Some premium features are only available on the paid Proton VPN Plus subscription, as I've just demonstrated. And the next question would be, can I use Proton VPN for Vivaldi on mobile? And they say at this stage, it's only available for desktop at the moment. And Vivaldi says it hopes to include it for mobile in the future. And that also mentioned, is it legal to use Proton VPN? And the answer would be using a VPN is legal in most countries, but some nations restrict a banned VPN use. And obviously you can do your research online regarding that. So just putting it out there, version 7.2 rolled out last week. 7.3 brings a big update where you've now got um, Proton VPN, and obviously, if you want to disconnect, you can just click on that and that'll disconnect you from the VPN service. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.